could this magic circle lead to? This is all a little too suspicious for me. Oh, what? Nothing. Nothing? It looks like something to me. Same old, same old. When a devil golem is nearby, my arm reacts. I I'm not sure why. When a devil golem is nearby? So that means... Yeah, she's in there. I see. Look, I said it before, but you don't have to come with me, okay? You're kidding. She's strong. I've seen it. It's possible none of us could come back alive. You think I'm gonna turn around and go back after coming all this way? Rygar, what about you? My place is by Lady Corrine's side. Well, okay, then let's get going. We've come out in a pretty strange place. Just, where are we? I don't know. From the look of these walls, I'd say this place was built using the latest enchant techniques. So you're saying it's all new? It certainly wasn't built in ancient times. I don't care where we are. Let's take a look around. If the Queen of Ice is here, then Toya must be too.
resurrect a devil golem. Resonance with something equal in power to its magic core is required. Resonance? You don't mean me? Well done! And you were always so slow in class. The key to her awakening was your right arm. Oh! <gasps> so it was my fault she awoke? Regrets are pointless now. Consider all the people you have killed. I didn't! I didn't kill anyone! <laughs> so you still don't have your memory back. What did I do? Tell me, Professor. Let me ask one thing. Are you the one who caused the Yokohama City Golems to go berserk as well? Indeed I am. I started the Golem Riot. All to force Atsuma into a corner and awaken the power of his right arm. You made the golems attack the city? How could you? Ha! <laughs> the 
ideas of the weak are always so rooted in old-fashioned moralities. How dare you! I'm talking about the revival of magic, the mightiest power ever. For the sake of this magnificent goal, some sacrifices should be more than acceptable. All the students in your precious school were nothing more than lab rats to me. The most talented lab rats the world had to offer, granted. Enough! You don't value human life at all, do you? This is rich. A deadly weapon seeks to lecture me on the value of life. A weapon? What do you mean? I'm human! I'm human? Oh, you poor fool. <laughs> I know full well that you are nothing but a weapon, as I'm sure that young lady right there can attest. That's it! Dr. Ko! I knew I'd heard the name before! You were there at the demonstration! Demonstration? Yes, dear Atsuma. You performed a wonderful demonstration for us. Total slaughter! Remember? Remember now? What you did to her? I... did something to Corrine? I did? Yet you still think you are human. We've got someone else to beat up before I get around to you, Atsuma. Correct, my lady. Atsuma, I must admit I'm happy to see how human you've become. Very happy. Koda? So, I wonder how the human in you will react when he sees this. Mutate!
could you do that to Coda? So? Will the human be able to kill his beloved hound, I wonder? Play nice now. <laughs> Villain. He's not the dog you knew, Atsuma. We've got to fight. Atsuma, you're certainly strong-willed. But how about shedding the act? You're not human. You're a weapon. This guy is 100% evil, isn't he? As you say. Koda! Are you struggling to understand this, Atsuma? I'm telling you the truth. You are a weapon. Why do you suffer over the death of one insignificant little mongrel? Just an insignificant mongrel! Insignificant? Why you? I'll never forgive you for this! Never! <laughs> Strong will to the last. Come on then, Atsuma. I've got something special prepared for you. <laughs> Wait! Stop! Atsuma! It's a trap! What's going on here? That isn't fair! Open up! Now! I'm going 
going to destroy her! dropping the act yet. Shut up! I'm human, not some weapon! You're wrong. You're not human, Atsuma. You never were. Toya! I'm in the perfect position now to truly understand the power of magic. This is fate. For both of us. What are you talking about, Toya? You should just accept it, Atsuma. Accept your fate. Toya, snap out of it! You don't even know what you're saying! Toya is a bright student. And quite unlike you, he seems to grasp the situation perfectly. With a little lecturing from me, he quickly comes around to my way of thinking. Lecturing? What have you done to him? Your little friend here has the blood of ancients in his veins. Queen of Ice! So I made him my magical. What do you say, child? Will you lend him to me, perhaps? Toya isn't a possession! He isn't a thing! Lend? You're crazy! No, <laughs> don't get so upset. I do so tire of the dopey ones. This is why you'll always be at the bottom of the class, Atsuma. Look at Toya! Learn from him! You too! Just hold on, Toya! I'm gonna crush these two and save you, okay? Save me? <laughs> what? What's so funny, Toya? <laughs> save me, you say? You really can't see what's right in front of you, can you? I'm glad to have become the Magicor for the Queen of Ice. I've never felt so complete, so satisfied in all my life. What? What are you talking about? I'm gonna save you, come on! And I'm telling you, I don't want it. When did I ask you to save me? You've come all the way here, and now you're trying to force me into being saved? You always have been hard-headed, and stupid too. Toya! You! What have you done to him? <laughs> I'm going to smash you! I can't allow you to attack the Queen, Atsuma. What? If you want to defeat the Queen, you'll have to kill me first. Oh, Toya, my dear. What a lovely thing to say. What do you mean, Toya? Get out of the way! Out of the way, Toya! What are you fighting at? Come on, Rygar, smash it! Even for me, this is no easy task, m'lady. Move aside. Huh? Who's there? I said, just move aside. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Go. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Come on, Rygar. As you say. <laughs> the human in you could never hurt Toya. I think it's time for you to leave the stage. I only need your right arm. There is no longer any reason for you to be attached to it. Now, die. Although perhaps that is the wrong verb, Mr. Human Weapon. Damn you! This is the end, Atsuma. The end for you! What? 
How did you get in here? That's my secret. It was very short-sighted of you to stall us with such a flimsy trap. Well, whatever. The outcome will be the same, no matter how many of you there are. Now, curse your own ignorance and prepare to die. Observe, Atsuma. I created this golem based on my research into your arm. <laughs> Fantastic, don't you agree? I impress myself. So just you be grateful. Grateful that such a creation, handcrafted by the magic genius Dr. Ko, will be the one that destroys you. Let's heat up! Healing power! 
I'm alive. Three, take that. <laughs> Worthless scum. Thank you. 
Yatsuma, very happy indeed. You aren't even fully awakened, yet look at all that power. Uh. Amazing, truly, truly amazing. But still, it is time for you to die. You have done so very well. Be proud of that fact as you die. Now kill him, Queen of Ice! Acknowledge the power of your arm. 
But I think it's still too soon for you to be fighting me. I'm letting you go. You're letting me go? Who gave you control? Give Toya back first, you frosty old hag! You've got strength enough to use that sharp tongue. Do you really think you can beat me? I can, and I will! <laughs> Such self-belief. But you'll have your chance another time. I'll take this darling with me until then. Come now, my sweet child. Let us be going. Stop! Don't touch him! No! Give him back! Give Toya back! Professor Ko. Ha! <laughs> Laugh at me now, would you? No. I want to know why you did all this. I already told you. I wanted to revive the technology from the Golem War. And so you used me? Like some kind of tool? That's right. You were nothing more than a useful experiment to me. Professor Ko, tell me. What am I? Why do I have this right arm? That's the heart of the matter. I doubt there is anyone who knows how your right arm came to be. I received orders to study you from the highest ranks in the military. That's all I know. The military wanted to research me? We still don't know where the arm came from, but it's made from ancient technology. Ancient technology? I gathered some cell samples from your arm and ran tests on them. The results were fascinating. That arm of yours was created from the core cells of a devil golem. What? His right arm is made from a devil golem? That's right. Which makes it the same as a devil golem. In fact, it could be a devil golem in its own right. That's impossible! Impossible! My right arm? A devil golem? My research is impeccable. I don't make mistakes. You've proven it anyway, haven't you? That arm's power to slaughter anything in its path, we've all witnessed it. The very definition of irony. Your arm simply proved too powerful. So further investigations into it were eventually prohibited. <laughs> but I'm not one to obey the edicts of the military. I'm no bootlicker. Those poor fools. They wanted to send the greatest sample we ever had to school. Did they think I'd allow such a thing? As a scientist, I must admit, I'll never forget that sight. An entire elite military unit reduced to ashes in an instant. By the power of your arm. I... I, I did that? Oh, yes. It has taken you this long to remember, but that's to be expected. After each rampage, I carefully sealed them away, after all. Those memories. You... Sealed away my memories? The military were scared. If you found out what you were capable of, you might deny them the use of your arm. Or worse still, take your own life. Just what? What does the military think I am? Another stupid question. A weapon, of course. I'm not a weapon. I'm... I'm human. If so... Why were you able to break that seal? A seal that can only be broken by resonance with another Devil Golem. That resonance led you, didn't it? <sighs> the very fact that you are here is proof that you are not human. Am I wrong? Yes! I'm human! 
Deny your fate all you like. Flee from it. That power will one day find release. I had so wanted to see that day for myself. The end of the world. Or the beginning of it. Either way, that would have been a most gratifying thing to see. <laughs> yourself to me, then we shall continue to grow strong. Our bond will strengthen and deepen, until finally we shall become one. Does that make you happy? Yes, my queen. So please, stop asking that boy to kill you. It's selfish, okay? Yes, 
my queen. No one is going to come between us. Until the preparations for the party are complete, we need your little friend and his arm right where they are. Please take a seat. Professor, you said you needed to talk to me? Concerning your parental authority, yes. What about it? I met with your parents. The university has now been designated your legal guardian. Placing an individual such as yourself, rich in the blood of the ancients, into the care of the city is common sense. I'm sure you agree. Whatever you say. Well, if that's all, may I leave now? You're taking this very calmly, Toya. Isn't it a shock to so suddenly be torn away from your parents? I was never close enough to them to be torn away. Furthermore, they were always scared of me. Scared of you, huh? <laughs> Is that amusing in some way? No, no. Just that you are an intelligent, skilled individual, rich in ancient power. You are feared by average people, and yet have to use your skills to allow those same people to live better lives. Don't you think that it is a little ironic? Ironic? That the excellent are ruled by the average. It's such nonsense. Even if I am a descendant of the ancients, that simply makes me a good enchanter. You want to segregate people based on their enchant abilities? Now that's true nonsense. Ah, but what if... What if the difference was more than mere enchant proficiency? What else is there? The ancients can become magicors. Magicors? You know the term, I see. Those with the blood of the ancients can become devil golem magicors. And if, as a magicor, a person could control a devil golem, they could easily surpass all mortal limits. This isn't like you, Professor. Such speculation is unscientific. Hmm. <laughs> Do you really think so? Atsuma's right arm. You feel it too, don't you? It's power. The perfect example, right at hand, of a human-golem combination. Now, if you are interested... Professor? Yes? Maybe it's all this pointless theorizing, but I feel unwell. I must take my leave now. Thank you. Huh. Very well. Well then. Toya! Yes, Professor? If you ever have a change of heart, do let me know. Please, excuse me. Oh, I think you'll have that change of heart. Soon enough. Soon enough. <laughs> Just to make sure, okay? I don't want to hear that you've changed your mind or anything like that. You have to keep your promise. Are you listening to me, Atsuma? Yeah, I hear you. I'll help the Resistance. That's right! You'll help me out! Yeah, I know. A promise is a promise. You don't sound especially convincing. You're hardly eating anything, either. You won't be any good in battle like this. If you stick with us, you may still have a chance. A chance? That's right! According to the ancient records, the fighting between devil golems is what dragged the golem war into the disaster it finally became. In light of that fact, do you think the Queen of Ice is simply going to let the other devil golems be? So what? Use your head! It means that the Queen of Ice may show up in London City! That man who saved us also said, the Emperor of Fire is next. That man? Oh! That mysterious, handsome guy. He was quite charming, actually. 
You think? I couldn't really say it myself. But there's something bugging me about him. I can't put my finger on it. Something about him didn't quite fit. Just who was he? From the way he handled himself, I'd say he's a top-level enchanter. He's highly skilled, that much is certain. As you say. Highly skilled? Really? Anyway, forget that handsome fellow. He doesn't appear to be an enemy. Unlike that friend of yours. What does that mean? He's been with the Ice Queen the entire time without even trying to get away. I don't know if it's by choice or if he's being controlled, but... What? You really think it's by choice? Can you really be so sure? When did I ask you to save me? I... Well, we never met... What was his name? Takuma? Before anyway, so I guess we can't make a judgment. Come on, we can't just stand around here all day speculating. Let's head back to the hideout. They may have some new information. As you say, shall we use the shortcut? I don't really want to, but... That's probably the best idea. We have to hurry. The Queen of Ice isn't going to wait for us to be ready for her after all. Shortcut? There's a shortcut through London Castle. It comes out close to our hideout. The castle? We can just walk through there? No problem, no problem. As you say. Don't worry about it. Come on. Thank you.